Hello everyone and welcome to the ReviewOS upgrade guide for Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you already have ReviewOS installed, you can now upgrade to newer versions that are released without having to actually reset your computer or losing any of your files so you keep everything from apps, games, software, etc. So to do so, we will of course first of all head to the ReviewOS website. Right there, uh, select right here uh, ReviewOS and then click on Downloads. Uh, once you are in this page, so you can choose whichever version you want. If you want, if you are on Windows 10, you can either upgrade to another version of Windows 10 or even another version of Windows 11. It is fine. However, if you're on Windows 11, you cannot downgrade to Windows 10, so you have to upgrade to Windows 11. So choose the upgrade version right here. Click on whatever link you want, and then solve the captcha, of course. If this website is unusable because of all of the ads for you, I highly recommend that you install uBlock Origin. Uh, you can find it anywhere on the internet. It's a very useful extension and it's much better than regular ad block since it blocks way more ads. Um, once it is done click on get link right here and right afterwards you can just download the ISO from the download page. Save it wherever you want of course. Once the download is done you will also need the ReviewS verifier so the link will be in the description. Uh, you just go in the website and select the first option right here and save it uh, in the same folder as your uh, ISO. Then we will unzip the uh, f the, the, ref the verifier in the same folder as the ISO too. And all you have to do now is drag and drop the ISO on top of the verifier, just like this. And you will get this console that we open up. And just let it do its thing. It's going to take a little while. And once it is done, if it says that it matches with the official review OS, then you are good to go. Now go onto your desktop and create a new review upgrade folder. Then select the ISO that you downloaded. If you have 7-zip or WinRAR, you can open with those softwares. If you don't, just select Open With and Windows Explorer. Open up the upgrade ISO and then select all of the files inside and drag and drop, drag and drop them on the Revy Upgrade folder that, that you created on your desktop. So very important before you upgrade your Revy OS, open up the revision tool. It will be either on your desktop and if you don't find it, you can just search for it in the Windows search bar and then go into the security tab and make sure that Windows Defender is off and that user account control is also off and go then into the uh, miscellaneous tab and make sure that fast startup and hibernate is also off. So make sure that all of three of these are disabled before you upgrade. Once you disable them, uh, what you will have to do is actually restart your PC. And once you've restarted, open up the tool again and make sure that they are all off after restarting. If you go into the security tab and you see that Windows Defender is still on, even after having disabled it and restarted your PC, this is a bug that can sometimes occur. And I ha we have a fix, of course, for that. So what you will do is that you will just uh, leave it like that, it does not matter, close the revision tool, and then go in the link in the description and download the uh, reg file that we will leave there. So just open the link up and it should directly download it. Save it uh, wherever you want. I'm going to just put it in my download folder. Then go to the folder where you saved this reg file and then right click on it, copy it, and then go into this PC, go in local disk C, and then paste it right here in your local disk directly. Make sure that this is in this folder where there's a Windows folder, program files, etc. Then just type open up a command prompt, so type in cmd, right click and run it as administrator, very important that you run it as, as admin, then paste this command that I will leave in the description. If it says operation successful, successful then you are good to go, you can just close the uh, command prompt, then press windows plus r and type in ms settings and that and recovery. I will leave this of course in the description too. Then click on restart now in advanced startup, click on restart now once again. And then once your PC will restart, you will find yourself in this screen. Right here, click on Troubleshoot and then click on Advanced Options. Click on Command Prompt and then right here, type Regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, press Enter. And then right here, click on H key Local Machine, so left click on it, very important, do not select anything else. Then go right here on top and click on File and click on Load Hive. Then you will here click on this PC, search for your local disk C, and then uh, open it, 
uh, then you will find inside the reg file that we just downloaded. If it's not here, search in the other partitions, and the one where there is this reg file is the one that you will be using. So once you find it, go into the Windows folder, then scroll down and go into the System32 folder, then go into the Config folder, and then scroll down and click on System, System, not anything else, and then uh, just click on Open and then it will ask you right here for a key name type in revi so r-e-v-i lowercase nothing else and then click on ok you will have this new folder called revi right here left click on it once again make sure it's selected then click on file click on import you'll have this window again click on this pc open your local disk and then click on the revi defender rec file that you downloaded and click on open it will say that it has been successfully added to the registry click on ok then click left click again on revi go in file and unload hive it will say that it was unloaded click on yes and the review folder should be gone now you can just close everything and click on continue and once your pc restarts uh if you open up the uh, revision tool again go into security you will see that windows defender is now properly turned off now you are good to go to actually upgrade your os so to do that, just open up the Revy upgrade folder on your desktop and then you will have an upgrade.bat file. If you don't have an upgrade.bat, just open setup.exe directly, it's almost the same. Click on open on upgrade.bat, click on yes, and you will get this uh, Windows setup page. Uh, click right here on I accept, of course. Then select right here, keep file settings and apps, click on next. It's going to take a little while. Once it's done right here, just click on install and then just you have to wait uh, it will restart your PC a couple of times it'll take a little while but once it's done uh, you will restart into Windows wait a bit and you will get this command prompt it will it's the same as the first time you installed Revy and once it's done it's going to automatically restart your PC and you will be back on your PC like nothing changed you will have all of your files apps etc no problems at all so hope that this video helped you and see you next time